Yeah, I'm Captain Rob Roach. We're going out fishing today. We're going shocking out in the deep. We're gonna go after them toothy critters. Ooh, yo, man, he's a jealous one. He says he's driving over here and bringing his gun. Don't think I'm a coward, baby, if I run. Kind of nice there's no, no fog on right now. You can pass the time you left and like fog there. Find another girl to replace you. Is there a back door that I can use? Cause baby, I don't wanna die. Okay, it's uh, 5.25 a.m. We just made it to the claw. Got to the dock around 3 a.m. So, after loading up the boat and setting sail about 3.30, we took our time getting out here and we're gonna troll for a little while. Try for some bluefin tuna on our way to an area I like to shark. And uh, we've got a good crew today. We got Tom, first mate. We got AJ Petrarca, Chris Sands. So, we got a pretty tight crew. Hate to find another girl to replace you. But it's a These are uh, deep diving mako shark lures. These are approximately going to go down 60 feet. Very heavy 16 ounce blunt tip. These will be traveling about 30 feet. Open up the back skirt, pull the nail, jam up mackerel right in the tip you slide this through its head and that's what holds the mackerel in place it's got off cable Tight, we're tight on the 80. It's not a big fish, but I don't think it knows it's hooked yet. Hit the uh, mackerel, the deep mackerel. What was that wake back there? What's that wake back there? What is that? That's your shark. Hey, get that middle line in. I'm happy now. Oh, I don't want that. Give it to somebody else. Look how heavy it is. I want to put that rod to the boat. This is the deep dive and lure, which Captain put it, ended up putting a mackerel on it. Threw two hooks. It was tracking pretty well. It wasn't spinning at all. I don't know, maybe 20 minutes into it. There he is on the surface. He's got sweat all beating up on top of his head. <laughs> this fucking thing won't budge. Nice. That's good, I know why. He wasn't quite ready to come in. All right, here she comes. We got leader. I'm gonna go all the way back in that corner. Keep the tip up, reel it all the way to the knot if you can. Can you get it? No, I'm gonna try and get it on top of that. Nice! Real that couldn't fucking. have been any better, guys. Wow. Cool. Good job. Nice work. Good job, Tommy. Good job, Chris. We're gonna do some sharking. Some traditional sharking, drifting with a slick. Got a little bit of a wind now, so we'll actually get a slick and uh, hopefully get some threshers and makos too. So 
We tried to do some bluefin tuna, not much going on. We tried to do uh, trolling for sharks, slow trolling for sharks. Got one blue shark, and now here we are. We're gonna we're gonna settle in, spend the next four or five hours, just uh, put our time in, and hopefully it'll work out. Blue fish fillet spliced off the back tail. Been a lot of work and no glory. Got tons of blue sharks today. It was a nice day, but slow in action. Except for all the blue sharks, which is like catching bluefish when you're striper fishing, or you know, it's hard. It's a lot of work. Beats up the boat, equipment, crew, and uh, there's no reward. You can't eat these things. But uh, they're, you know, they're an important species, scavenging species. They're like seagulls of the ocean. We appreciate that. You know, they go and eat all the garbage, so we let them go. And